Welcome back to Good Day. What's the one thing we all have? but we barely exercise. That's a good question. Yeah, I know you know the answer to this one, Stephen. So we all have patience, but sometimes it's hard to exercise it. <laughs> yeah. Exercise patience is the theme of one of the biggest annual conventions you'll find in the Glass City. Mark Smith is here from the 2023 Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses with what the two weekends mean to the Glass City. So Mark, good, good morning. morning. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Thanks for having me. Patience, ah. such a key word. It's a virtue, they say, yes. right? Exercising that patience is something that's difficult for it's so many, thing. and that's the theme of the convention. Why was that chosen? Well, when you think about the world we live in today, um, whether we're driving in traffic, whether we're at work, dealing with our kids, <laughs> or any situation. He's talking to me, I think, yeah. <laughs> patience is needed. Um, and it's something that is needed, and we have to exercise it. And if we do, it helps us to be better people, better husbands, better wives, uh, helps us better in the workplace, helps us even in our, in our health. Um, being exercising patients uh, can help the whole community. Yeah, I was thinking that too. You know, we just feel better when we're patient. That's true. Mm -hmm. it's, we feel horrible when we're stressed out or, you know, anxious about something. But if we just stop and take a breath and be like, this is okay, right. this too shall pass, <laughs> right? Then, you know, we just feel better. Mm -hmm. So um, talk a little bit about the convention and, you know, what folks will be experiencing as they come out. Well, we're happy to be back in Toledo. We had to exercise patience <laughs> for the last this three pandemic, years. Right? Exactly. Yeah. We had to keep people safe, so we didn't have our large conventions, which we love our large conventions. We're one of the largest convention organizations in the world. Uh, so we're happy to be back in downtown Toledo, and what we can expect is a series of talks and reenactments, demonstrations, videos, fabulous videos uh, that'll cover that topic patience and the principles <laughs> that we can apply in our daily lives that can help us exercise it in a better way. So who is this convention for? Is it just for Jehovah's Witnesses or are you guys inviting everyone to be involved in no, this? No, this convention is for the whole Northwest Ohio community. Anybody can come. As a matter of fact, for the last three weeks, we've been going door to door, handing out invitations uh, to individuals, letting them know that they are welcome and we want them to come uh, to the Exercise Patients Regional Convention. So this is, it starts Friday, but this is Two weekends, is that correct? Yes, this weekend uh, will be uh, English. Mm -hmm. uh, next weekend will be totally Spanish. Same wow. program, mm -hmm. but totally Spanish. And between the two weekends, the six days, we'll have about 20,000 people in downtown Toledo going to the restaurants, uh, maybe a Mud Hens game, all the features that Toledo offers. Uh, but the main thing is being there to learn those principles about exercising patients. Mm -hmm. And Mark, you mentioned for the past three weeks, you all have been inviting people door to door. And many people know Jehovah's Witnesses for doing that right. uh, so delivering a message from the Bible is that something that people are going to be able to hear at this convention oh definitely definitely uh, all the talks that will be given have a Bible based thing uh, exercising patience we think about one of the talks that will be given is uh, about how God has been patient with us you know, <laughs> so how can we imitate that in our daily daily lives uh, there'll be a feature film that's going to run on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and it's about a family, uh, the main character, Amani. And, and in that uh, feature drama, his family faces some pretty rough situations that come up unexpectedly. And they threaten the peace of their family, their livelihood, even their very lives. But are they going to be patient and wait on Jehovah to help them get through the situation? So that's a feature that we'll uh, highlight this weekend. You know, you mentioned going door to door, uh, not being able to have these conventions in person the last uh, couple of years. Why is it so important that you are able to go door to door to get back together in person to host these conventions? In person is better. We had a virtual plan. Uh, platform mm -hmm. for the last three years, uh, which w worked fabulous, you know, but it's like a fire. Um, you can have a fire on a, a TV screen and you can see the flames flicker and everything, but you can't feel the warmth. <laughs> uh, so being together uh, at our large conventions, we love it. We get to see our friends who we haven't seen in a while. Um, the uh, discussions, the, the, um, just the camaraderie. Uh, that brings the people together for one purpose, and that's to learn about exercising patients. And you mentioned that the entire Northwest Ohio is invited. Mm -hmm. So how many people are you all expecting over the next two weekends? And also, is there a fee associated with this? So first of all, uh, in the United States alone, there's going to be over 708 conventions in 144 different cities mm -hmm. in 35 different languages. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Around the world, there's going to be 6,000 
conventions in 500 languages. And so even here in Northwest Ohio, it's, it's bigger than that because you have people coming from Indiana, Michigan, uh, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. And between the six days, uh, we're expecting about 20,000 individuals to mm -hmm. come here. Oh, wow. And is there a fee associated? Yeah, oh, can people register? Is, there is no fee. Uh, it's, the seats are free. Come in. We want you to come in and enjoy this exercise patients convention. Very good. So what time should they start showing up on Friday? Doors open at 8 o'clock. The uh, musical and video uh, program will start at 920 and after that it'll run the program throughout the day. Okay, very good. Sounds good. Over yeah. at the Glass City Center. Mark, thanks so much thanks for joining Thanks so much us. for Thank being you. here today.